I'm going to talk about dynamite. Mm -mm -mm. I hope you're taking heat. Taking heat? Yeah. You clearly haven't been looking at the chat, brother. You're taking the heat. Uh, But that's all right. Ain't got no time for these folks. Darby Allen beat Brody King in a coffin match. They had a very, very violent match. Blood everywhere from, uh, well, everybody, actually. And then uh, Darby ended up getting a, a chain. Actually, first all of the Sting, uh, all of the blokes ran in. Buddy Matthews is back, and uh, it's huge. I don't know what to say about Buddy Matthews, but uh, he was huge. gone for a while, and uh, and there was a reason for it. But apparently, oh. he's back now, oh. and uh, it has nothing to do with him being huge. Oh. Uh, apparently, he uh, or maybe it does. No, it doesn't. He oh. uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. He took some dates that were not approved, and I think there oh. was a little bit of heat for a while. Oh. But uh, I guess the heat has abated, and he is back. But anyway, so uh, they had this match, and then Sting popped out of the casket and uh, beat some dudes up. And then Darby grabbed a, a chain, and he choked out Brody. And they, they did the opposite of what Brody did to him. He choked him out, and then Brody collapsed, fell off the apron, fell into the coffin, and in landing in the coffin, the door automatically closed. It was Awesome. Incredible. A fantastic finish. Darby gets the win. And that was that. John Moxley promo. And then a uh, Chris Jericho promo. Dude, this match should have been like a, a pay-per-view match. Because they only had two weeks. But they were so good. The match was so great. If they would have had like a month to build this thing up after two and a half years, I think this thing would have been... A great, great pay-per-view main event. As it was, it was a fantastic TV main event. We had La Faccion and Gobernable, Andrade and Rouge versus Penta and Ray Phoenix. And they had a, uh, it was a tornado match, so no tags, just everybody doing 8 million crazy spots. Penta's mask got tied in the ropes. He actually unmasked himself in order to make a save, which was funny because in the end it didn't matter. They still got beaten anyway. And uh, he ended up outside. They killed poor Phoenix with the bull's horns and then the uh, hammerlock DDT. So a, a big win for the Faction as they move on to face the Young Bucks in the Trios Tournament. This is a very good match. We had the Young Bucks and Hangman and the Dark Order. And <laughs> after all this time, Matt... Degrassi. I never watched Degrassi Junior High, but I imagine some of the acting, that's, that's what this is. After all this time, Matt finally apologizes to the hangman. He says he, if he could take it all back, he would. And what they want is for him to just team with them for the trio's titles. Let's go the steady. hung bucks can ride again. We need to go to homecoming, win those six And the hangman titles. says, you know what? I can't. I'm not in the tournament. I owe it to these guys. They've stood behind me this whole time. I will be in the corner of the dark order in this tournament. So I think you need to find somebody that's Never turn their back on you. And the young bucks are like, ah, oh, that's cool, all right. Yeah. And they walk off, and and then uh, Brandon Cutler Brandon. says, I think they're talking about me. And they said, shut up, Brandon, turn that camera off. I thought this segment was fantastic. <laughs> I loved it. Luchasaurus beat Anthony Henry. And then uh, Christian appears on the big screen. Jungle Boy runs to the back. Uh, Luchasaurus beats up these security guards. They're trying to keep them apart. This allows this this allows Christian to escape, and Luchasaurus again never puts his hands on Christian. Mm. Miro did a promo, which uh, uh, so uh, I thought he said I accept your gift. Other people said he said I reject your gift. Mm-hmm. It appears that Miro is going to be feuding with the House of Black. Yeah, but uh, that's how I kind of took that too. Just to jump in, these things aren't up my alley, bro. Not up my I, alley. I just I don't know what's going on. When, when you send uh, what's her name out there, um, Eye Patch, Julia Hart, it? Julia Hart there to to be the messenger. Why do I have a feeling? Because her name has been brought up so much, and her image invoked so much. That the former Lana, C.J. Perry, will at some point appear and lead Miro to the light that he'll have to in need to face the House of Black. I love that the chat can't decide whether he said accept or reject. Eh. Whatever it is, 
it's actually pretty cool for something that goes on where you never see a guy wrestle. Like, usually I want to see a guy win some matches, but with Miro, I know he can kick ass. So whatever this is, as long as, like, I guess as long as the art is good, I'll, I'll go ahead and take it. We had Jay Lethal, Sanjay, and Satnam, not in the trios tournament, come out, and <laughs> okay. they had a confrontation with Wardlow and FTR. Not in the trios tournament. Now, they should be. And uh, FTR ended up hitting the big rig on Jay Lethal, who wants another shot at Wardlow's title, although I don't know if he's going to get it after that, but I guess we'll see. Does this mean FTR is defending the ROH titles against Satnam Singh and uh, Sanjay? I don't know. Or Sanjay and Jay Lethal? Actually, that would be a good match, but I mean... uh... Sanjay's not wrestling. Well, oh God, Satnam Singh and Jay Lethal? Ricky Starks beat Aaron Solo, and afterwards, I guess to uh, rehab him from what happened last week, where as a babyface, he started a fair fight and then got his ass kicked. Well, So Nick Camarado hits the ring. He fights him off. It's two-on-one. Uh, he avoids a chair shot. He bails. He runs up the ramp. He escapes. He smiles. And then Hobbs is furious at the fact that he wasn't able to uh, finish him off here tonight. Starks and Hobbs are awesome. Together or feuding. Love it. The Gun Club and uh, Billy Gunn, not in the trios tournament, had a uh, deal backstage. Stokely walked up and wanted to recruit the Gun Club. Billy told him to get out of here. Danhausen walked up and said he would see them in the ring with his furry friend on Friday. By the way, Danhausen and Bear Country, not in the trios tournament. But it won't even be Bear Country. It's the Vintner. Danhausen and the Vintner will be facing the Gun Club on Friday. Beardhausen. We had uh, Trust Busters making their uh, their debut backstage. Yeah. At that point, did you think about turning A and E on for the new uh, live court show that they have? I, on I there? didn't, but I, I just could not believe that I was watching uh, Harlan on my screen, Harlan. who has hair now. Yeah, He's now Harlan. Like Should have been his name. Harlan. Uh, what? Well, never mind. Obviously, somebody said something to somebody about how he must have looked, you know, training or something like that in NXT because of all the people to bring in. It just kind of random. Really is. Slim J, I understand. And I understand bringing some people in for ROH, especially some people with experience. If you do want to only have the Briscoes and mostly younger, cheaper talent, but. I mean, I'm just really surprised that Parker Bordreau, of all people, is somebody you took a gamble on and are, is on national TV right now. Oh, man. We had Jade Cargill and Madison Rain. And well, uh, God bless her. I hear she's a nice person. But uh, Madison Rain got hired as, uh, as a trainer. She's had two matches on national television. They have both been very bad. And uh, this one was bad enough that Jade Cargill actually looked the better of the two and it just went on forever there was a lot of standing there just waiting for something to happen and finally jade hit jaded for the pin and then athena attacked her and uh it looks like uh athena versus jade is going to be the match likely for the tbs title at the pay-per-view who's had the best mass match with jade because, like, you know, they, somebody's got to be a whisperer for her, and they need to find them quick because it's not like she had good matches with Serena D. didn't have a good one here with Madison Rain. You, like, you start picking people who have had experience, who have gone in there with her, and granted, one match is only one match, but, like, they got to find somebody because I love Jade as a character. I love a lot of the stuff about her, but, like, <laughs> there's got to be something that will make her look better in the ring. Uh, we'll do. Uh, we'll have Fauntleroy do Rampage here after the break. But uh, next week on Dynamite, Andrade, Roosh, and Dragon Lee against the Young Bucks and very likely Kenny Omega. Tony Storm versus Kylan King. And then Brian Danielson faces Daniel Garcia in a best of three falls match. So they're getting that match over with. Danielson, I'm sure, is going to get his win back. And then we'll have Danielson and Jericho most likely at the pay-per-view. Hey, do do you think they could actually split falls and then go to a draw or have some sort of no contest where Brian doesn't get his shot and then he's got to have some sort of ultimate match? I think that he's going to get his win back, but in best of three, you know, Daniel Garcia can at least get another win over him. So I think that's probably what they're going to end up doing. But 
Then the main event was John Moxley and Lionheart Chris Jericho <laughs> with his Lionheart gear, his Lionheart song, his Lionheart hair, his Lionheart physique since he lost all that weight. <laughs> and he went in there with Moxley and dude, these are two guys that cannot have a bad match together. They're made for each other because they're both very good wrestlers and they're also very good brawlers. And so they can each and they'll 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 lay into each other. They'll just get in there and they'll go. And uh, Jericho ripped out his earring, so Moxley pretty sure gigged his ear. He's bleeding all over from the ear. Yes. And then Roddy uh, Piper would be proud. Jericho accidentally hit an exposed buckle legitimately and legitimately got busted open. He had a big slit right down the front of his head. He's bleeding everywhere, which actually made the match even better and actually turned Jericho babyface by the end because Jericho. They did a they did a uh, walls of Jericho through an entire commercial break. He puts him in the walls. They go to commercial. They come back and Moxley's just getting the ropes. The whole break they did that walls of Jericho. Then we have the near falls at the end. Uh, Moxley kicked out of the Judas effect. He kicked out of a belt shot. Uh, Jericho puts him in the lion tamer. Jericho's bleeding from the face. He's got the lion tamer on. The place is going crazy. They actually believe he might actually win at this point. Moxley switches it over. He uh, puts him in the rear naked choke on the mat. Jericho's bleeding in this choke. He's pounding the mat. The people are screaming and going nuts. And then he violently taps. Dude, this match ruled. This match was awesome. And uh, afterwards, Sammy, Hager, they hit the ring. And uh, Blackpool Combat Club. Yeah, not Sammy Hagar. <laughs> Sammy Hager. They hit the ring. And then CM Punk makes his return. Everybody runs into his arm on the ramp. And he gets <laughs> into the ring, throws everybody out, starts dancing around like Eric Bischoff on one leg to show that his foot's good. And then him and Moxley have a stare down. And Moxley flips him off, shoulder checks him, and people booed John Moxley. And, uh, the thing with Moxley is this bro don't care. Like, this is not he's a guy. Sorrow, yeah. This guy is not Liv Morgan where, you know, if people boo him, he's going to start crying in the middle of the ring. Dude, he he's all for it. Like, you boo this guy, he's just going to go full heel on you. Mm -hmm. And they'll love him again when this is over. It's going to be a great feud, I suspect. I think this is going to be a great f four weeks up until uh, until All Out. You need to have a shade of gray. Like the Koloffs, like the Russians used to be that thing in, in back in the day in the NWA, like no matter if the Road Warriors were feuding with the, the Rock and Roll Express or whatever, everybody hated the, the Russians. And to have a group like the, the Blackpool Combat Club, we used to see Claudio afterwards hyping Moxley up for flipping him off and giving him the shoulder check. And we know what Brian Danielson's all about. Like you have your Mr. Softy if there's going to be one in Wheeler, Utah, but even him, you know, look at the blood that's been, you know, splattered on him and you see how he goes out there and again they're an awesome group and not in the trios tournament this person goes why bring Liv into this <laughs> what because Liv Morgan was the biggest baby face they had she came out for a promo everybody booed her and she totally lost her composure she almost cried and she sweared on live she swore on live tv that's why I brought it up because some people if they're a baby face they don't want to be booed some people they don't care you know, Tom, it was abundantly clear this week that I just don't get enough respect. Excuse me? I feel I deserve a little bit of credit for your, your recent success. You want to take credit for my victory in the G1 Climax? You can fuck off. Why don't you put your money where your little mouth is and get in the ring with me? No. If you, if you really want to take credit for this shit. There's a tweet from August 3rd. Who wants to make it happen? I'll team with Debbie Malenko. Why don't you call up Billy Starks and why don't you step in the ring against me and her, huh? I'll text yeah, her right. right now. I'll be in Chicago all out weekend. How about that? I'll call up Mikey. The black label? Yeah. Debbie, are you available all out weekend look at those arms brian's not even in ring shape for this show me yours tom huh look at this go back and forth huh go back jared put yours up go back 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 oh yeah who's not in ring shape now motherfucker she can't do it 
She can't do it. She can't do it. This is like when we grappled, Brian, and you clearly tapped. Oh, fuck off. I, what a dick. Oh, so now now you're getting fired up? Well, fuck, dude. You know, we can settle God. this. God. We can settle this. You meet me in Chicago. Buddy. I'm I'm in. You've agreed. Yeah, I've agreed because you don't have Basically. a fucking partner. I will beat dude. your ass silly. <laughs> yeah. I'm texting him right now. Mikey. By the way, okay. Yes, all caps. I'm not the only killer that you're going to be in there with, Brian. Killer Kelly. See you in Chicago. Although I, I was just alerted that the show is at 11 o'clock p.m., so I, I may have to pull out. That's past my bedtime. So if you're going all out weekend, Black Label Pro, Friday, September 2nd. I can't wait to beat your ass. Not going to happen. It's been years in the making.